This is a potential game changer. NASA has hit pay dirt. You realize that ice is worth five times, pound for pound, five times the value of gold on the moon. For the first time, China's space agency has launched a civilian astronaut into orbit. China entered the space race relatively late, launching its first satellite into orbit in 1970, a considerable time after the United States had achieved the milestone of landing an astronaut on the moon. However, Beijing has since made remarkable strides in its space endeavors, and now distinguished physicist Michio Kaku has revealed a remarkable and unexpected discovery made by China on the moon. Yes, you heard that correctly. So what is this astonishing lunar revelation, and how might it transform our understanding of the universe? In this journey through the cosmos, we will explore these pressing questions and unveil the thrilling revelations concealed within the heart of the moon. So don't miss out. Our universe is a captivating realm, and among its cosmic companions, the moon stands out as the sole planetary body humans have explored beyond Earth. Recently, Chinese scientists have made remarkable strides in uncovering some of the moon's most intriguing mysteries. Just a couple of years ago, China dispatched an unmanned spacecraft named Chang'e 5 to a prominent dark expanse on the moon visible from Earth known as Oceanus Procellarum or Ocean of Storms. Landing near the imposing Mount Rumke, this mission achieved a groundbreaking feat, collecting samples from the lunar surface and returning them to Earth marking the first time such a task had been accomplished in nearly five decades, with the last instance being a Soviet mission in 1976. These fresh lunar samples have yielded unexpected revelations, particularly concerning the presence of water on the Moon. Previously, many experts believed that the Moon's intense formation approximately four billion years ago would have eliminated any trace of water due to the extreme heat. However, this assumption has been disproven in reality, significant amounts of water exist on the Moon, primarily in the form of ice. This ice has been primarily discovered at the Moon's poles, where perpetual darkness prevails. NASA is planning future missions involving astronauts to these regions, as the availability of this water could prove immensely advantageous for upcoming space exploration missions. However, Chang'e 5 accomplished more than just discovering water. It returned with over 60 ounces of lunar soil and rock samples that are brimming with valuable rare minerals. Remarkably, even before its return to Earth, the spacecraft utilized an onboard instrument to conduct measurements, revealing the probable presence of water on the lunar surface. Water, an essential resource for human survival, and a substance scarcer than diamonds in the depths of space, was now confirmed to exist on the Moon. This discovery naturally prompted the question, where did this lunar water originate? Various scientific theories emerged. Some believed that asteroids could have transported water to the Moon, while others entertained the notion of an undisclosed lunar water source. An enlightening report from a collaboration between Chinese and European researchers suggested that the key to unraveling this enigma might be hidden within the Moon samples obtained from the lunar northwest and retrieved by China's Chang'e 5 spacecraft. These samples contain minuscule glass beads of varying colors, akin to space pearls. But how did these beads come into existence? The prevailing hypothesis suggests that they formed as a result of the intense heat generated by meteorite impacts on the Moon. Most intriguingly, these diminutive glass beads hold traces of water, offering a vital clue to the origin of lunar water reserves. Dr. Sen Hu, a scientist affiliated with the Chinese Academy of Sciences shared a remarkable revelation. Within every metric tonne of lunar soil, approximately 2,000 kilograms of water reside within these glass beads. Equally astonishing is the ubiquity of these glass beads across the Moon. From its equatorial regions to its polar extremes, this widespread distribution can be attributed to the numerous meteorite impacts that the Moon has endured throughout its existence. While scientists believe that the majority of the Moon's water exists in the form of hydroxyl, the possibility of it being in a molecular state also remains open. Their calculations estimate an astonishing 270 billion metric tons of water to be locked within these glass beads. In 2010, NASA estimated that the Moon's North Pole craters contained approximately 600 million metric tons of ice. 
However, this recent discovery suggests the presence of a considerably larger water reservoir. The most intriguing aspect of this revelation is the potential for this water to serve as an unexpected source of sustenance for life. But that's not all. The lunar samples procured by the Chang'e 5 mission are substantially younger than those collected during the American Apollo program or the Soviet Union's robotic missions. Current research indicates that these water-containing glass beads have been forming over the past 2 billion years, particularly during periods characterized by intense meteorite bombardment, akin to the event responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs 68 million years ago. Now, you might wonder how this water found its way into these lunar crystals. The prevailing theory suggests that it's the result of the sun's influence. Scientists believe that positively charged hydrogen atoms carried by solar winds infiltrated these glass beads and subsequently combined with oxygen. When the sun's energy warms these beads, they gradually release some of their hydrogen, thus contributing to the moon's water cycle. In essence, these glass beads don't merely contain water, they play a pivotal role in regulating its distribution across the lunar surface. The implications of this discovery are profound and have sparked a wave of excitement among scientists. It has prompted them to delve deeper into understanding whether the Moon's water resources could potentially sustain astronauts on extended missions far from Earth. Interestingly, a month before China's lunar lander Chang'e 5 made its groundbreaking discovery of water on the Moon's surface, NASA had already made a significant announcement. They had confirmed the presence of water in areas of the Moon exposed to sunlight. And what's even more remarkable is that they achieved this from an altitude of 45,000 feet above Earth. NASA employed the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy to detect the distinct wavelength signals of water molecules. These revelations intriguingly suggest that water might be more widespread on the lunar surface than previously believed, potentially extending beyond the frigid regions at its poles. While earlier studies had hinted at the presence of water, the real breakthrough came with China's recent lunar mission. As noted by Matt Siegler, a senior scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Arizona, the spectral reflectance data had to be meticulously adjusted for temperature to determine the quantity of water present. The challenge, however, was to ascertain the precise temperature of an object from such a great distance. This is what made the Chang'e 5 mission truly exceptional. By landing on the lunar surface, it could directly measure the temperature, leaving no room for ambiguity. Moreover, there's another astonishing revelation in the realm of lunar discoveries. Scientists have stumbled upon an exceedingly rare lunar crystal that could potentially offer an unlimited source of energy for the entire planet. The China National Space Administration CNSA, has been making waves in the field of space exploration, rivaling even NASA with its ambitious space station project and numerous space missions. And now it has unveiled a groundbreaking lunar discovery that has sent shockwaves through the global scientific community. So what exactly is this sensational lunar find, which was initially leaked by Michio Kaku? This crystal, unearthed from lunar basalt particles in 2020, consists of a substance previously unknown to science. This substance contains a critical ingredient for nuclear fusion, the same process that fuels the sun and stars in our galaxy. Following the leak, the CNSA and the China Atomic Energy Authority officially announced the discovery of this brand new lunar material, aptly named Chang'e 5 ite in honor of China's Chang'e 5 robotic mission. This remarkable find was made by scientists from the Research Institute of Uranium Geology in Beijing during their study of lunar surface samples. With this discovery, China joins the exclusive ranks of the United States and the former Soviet Union as the only nations to identify a new lunar mineral. This achievement was made possible thanks to the first lunar sample return mission since the 1970s, which successfully brought back over 1.7 kilograms of lunar samples to Earth. Adding to the significance, the lunar crystal was named Chang'e Site Y, after Chang'e, the lunar goddess in Chinese mythology, by the Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology. The research on these moon samples was a collaborative effort involving various departments, including the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the Ministry of Education, and the Ministry of Natural Resources. Now consider the implications. This minuscule translucent crystal, no wider than a human hair, 
has unlocked doors to possibilities that were previously beyond our wildest imagination. This lunar crystal, which took shape around 1.2 billion years ago during a period of lunar volcanic activity, harbors an extraordinary element within, helium-3. The magnitude of this revelation prompted Michio Kaku to share the news with the world. But what sets helium-3 apart, you might wonder? This unique form of helium, while rare on Earth, is believed to be plentiful on the Moon, accumulated over billions of years through direct deposition by the solar wind onto lunar soil. The significance of this discovery lies in helium-3's potential as a game-changing fuel source that could transform the production and utilization of clean, highly efficient energy here on our home planet. Scientists have long been intrigued by helium-3 because it shows promise as a fuel for nuclear fusion. In a nutshell, nuclear fusion is the process in which two lightweight atoms merge into a single, heavier atom under extreme heat and pressure, mimicking the energy generation process of stars. However, reproducing this powerful reaction on Earth, where it generates more energy than it consumes, has remained an elusive goal. So what makes helium-3 such an enticing candidate for this atomic spectacle? Helium-3 stands out because it produces considerably less radiation and radioactive waste compared to other elements, rendering it a cleaner and safer energy source. Presently, our nuclear power plants rely on nuclear fission, a process that not only generates electricity, but also radioactive byproducts necessitating the intricate management of uranium, plutonium and other waste materials. If we can harness the potential of helium-3 for fusion rather than fission, we may finally have a cleaner, safer and more efficient means of generating nuclear energy. While we are yet to develop a practical reactor to harness its potential, the discovery of helium-3 has already triggered a lunar resource race. Multiple nations and private enterprises, including the United States and China, have expressed interest in mining the moon for its helium-3. With Chang'e 5 unearthing fresh deposits of helium-3 on the moon's surface, this lunar resource race could gain even more momentum, propelling us toward an era where the moon's mineral resources cease to be a work of science fiction and become a tangible reality. In the meantime, we'd love to hear your thoughts on these remarkable discoveries made by China on the moon. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time!